This is Still Media Live. It's time for business. And the Chamber for Petroleum Consumers, COPEC, is challenging the new managing director of the Tema Oil Refinery to push for the listing of the refinery on the Ghana Stock Exchange to ensure it runs as a profit-oriented business. As at the time of filing this report, the new MD was not opposed by the Secretary of the Junior Workers Union indicated this will not in any way affect the operations of the refinery. We'll bring you details of this story shortly, but the former finance minister, Setepe, has assured contractors working and undertaking get fund projects of a comprehensive documentation to ensure payment by the incoming administrators. Now, contractors indebted by the previous government have been agitating over non-payment for completed projects and served notice not to hand them over. Contractors working on the Ghana Education Trust Fund project picketed at the Ministry of Finance mm -hmm. on January 3, demanding 300 million cities owe them by government. The former finance minister, Seth Tekbe, who briefed the media in Accra, said a comprehensive documentation has been put in place to ensure the incoming government pays them. We have faced significant areas. You would agree with me that in the context of this administration, from 2013, single spine areas, we pay them down. Subsidy areas, we pay them down. You know, road areas, no road areas. We've paid down quite a number of them. Arrears on forex, forex losses, on account of which is a, a complement to the subsidies, we've paid them down. So the notion that we have not been paying down, when in fact a lot of budget resources have gone into payment of our arrears, you know, is often not, does not reflect the true picture. It doesn't tell the complete story. According to him, the outgoing government has taken a value chain approach to contracts in order to ensure probity and accountability. Those who are doing business with governments, either deriving revenues from government, deriving their budgets from government, or those who may want to finance or pre-finance government contracts, or even take government contracts, you know, need to you know, continue constant monitoring. But above all, the Minister of Finance controller, or the Minister of Finance and its agencies, which is the controller, GRA, budget division, and the rest, also needs to, one, tighten systems and, and procedures. He insisted the Muhammad administration was leaving behind a stabilized economy with bright prospects. He noted the fiscal consolidation program had resulted in a significant reduction in inflation. We go back to our earlier story where the Chamber of Four Petroleum Consumers, COPEC, is challenging the new managing director of the Tema Oil Refinery to push for the listing of the refinery on the Ghana Stock Exchange. Ambassador Isaac Osei was expected to start work as the new managing director of the Tema Oil Refinery on January 9. The Chamber for Petroleum Consumers say the Chamber expect the new managing director must work to make tour profitable and push for the removal of the tour levy and the refinery to be run as a business. The executive secretary of COPEC, Duncan Amwa, stated the new managing director of tour to push for strategic investments into the refinery or list on the stock exchange. Tour could be resourced further. Uh, some of the old facilities that would need upgrading uh, to be able to uh, get the refinery up to even 80,000 uh, barrels per stream day. Uh, one of the options would be to list tour on the stock exchange or the best to uh, give Ghanaians uh, who are willing or want to at least own shares in there to be able to contribute uh, some significant capital. Our trip to Tema Oil Refinery revealed the new managing director, Ambassador Isaac Osei, was yet to report for work. The secretary of the Tour General Transport, Petroleum and Chemical Workers Union of the TUC, Enoch Osei, stated the workers are not panicking and are ready to work with whoever the president will appoint to head the refinery. Managing directors come, they go, but we try to give our maximum support to whoever comes. So why not?
He stated the workers are not panicking and are ready to work with whoever the president will appoint to head the refinery. When the directors come, they go, but we try to give our maximum support to whoever comes. So why not? Workers are ready to work and to give all their maximum you know, effort to support whoever will be appointed as the managing director for Tamara Refinery. So we are ever ready as workers. The outgoing managing director, Kwame Iwadako, was also not at post. He had earlier suggested he will stop working as tour managing director on Friday, January 6. I'm not the only Ghanaian who is capable of doing what has been done. And the most critical thing is to lend them our support to make sure that the successes that have been achieved is continued. Meanwhile, our investigations have revealed that former CEO of NPA, John Atefwa, and former Central Regional Minister, Dr. Stephen Nana Atto Arthur, are the two picks being considered for the position of CEO of NPA. John Atefwa was the CEO of NPA from 2005 to April 2009. On April 17, 2009, the then president, Professor Mills, asked Atefwa, to proceed on his accumulated leave. Stephen Nana Atto Arthur, also tipped for the MPA boss position, was the Central Regional Minister from 2006 to 2009. Industry watchers think a new face will be the best in order to check and strengthen the weaknesses in the downstream petroleum sector. They think with the poor standards at most fuel stations, the June 3 disaster, and the recent La Trade Fair gas explosion, there is the need for a person who can effectively supervise and monitor growth in standard.